do a new run. I'm gonna be in charge now because we're going to be doing a random deck and we're gonna be going for a new final boss, Repentance. This is a new final boss added by mods. Ooh. It, it's a bit more difficult, but I've played enough of this game that I think I can get to it and be able to do some damage. Is it me? Is the final boss me? Oh, I wish. If I could mod you in as a final boss, how fun that would be. I like to go for a random starting deck, and I'm getting a bullfrog, a coyote, and a burrowing trap. I'm not happy with any of these, really, but... Uh, oh boy, pelts. Yeah, pelts. But, Thank you know, God. I don't even consider the pelts, because you trade them in immediately. So what do we get here at the pelts? Oh. Trading in these pelts. What do we got? What do we got? Show me some exquisite pelts. What do we got? Does this always happen? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's see. We a got... A beaver. With a Swiss cake roll. Yes. The beaver. <laughs> I, I noticed that, too. It looks like it's not a log. It looks like a Swiss it cake looks, roll. It looks like a Swiss cake roll. The beaver was hungry. What can I say? Ooh, you got a dire wolf. I you do. do. That's like... Oh, man. That's expensive, It's though. three blood. Yeah, it's really pricey. But the bifurcated attack has a good sigil I can put on something else, yeah. too. Well, it's not bifurcated attack, and it hits twice. Oh, remember? yeah. It's double strike is what it's yeah. called. This card takes five hits, so putting, like, spikes on them would not be a bad idea. Nobody's got spikes, though, huh? In that case, I'll take this fish and double strike. And then the fire. See if we can deal with that bullfrog. Make that bullfrog strong. Ah, uh, he's going to be more healthy if I do. Oh, actually, no. It gives health instead of attack power, and I, oh. want, that, I want that coyote to be healthier. Two, three for three bones ain't bad, but let's try. Okay, goodbye. They ate it. Eh, works for me. Bye. Immediately to the totem battle. You got diving deer? No big deal. Diving deer. For some reason, diving deer reminded me of, do you know what one of the natural predators of moose is? No. Killer whales. No, I'm not making that up. Moose kill killer whales. No, mo one of the natural predators of the moose is a killer whale. Killer whales eat mooses. Yeah. How does that work? Uh, cause moose go down into the ocean to eat the algae and seaweed that grows at the bot that grows at the bottom of the ocean, like oh. out by the coast. Really? Yeah. They go out there to eat the seaweed and algae and stuff that grows like by the coastline, and killer whales eat them. Wow, I've never heard of that. I kind of want to see if there's video footage of that because that'd be amazing. There might be. I'm sure there is, and I'm sure it's brutal as hell. <laughs> I don't even know that's a thing. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I remember hearing that and being like, that's not a, that's not a thing. Yeah. That's not, somebody made that up. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this burrowing trap card, it was added by mods, mm -hmm. which is fine, but it's got five points of health and then it gets attacked and it, it activates the trap, but it doesn't actually like trap anything until its health gets reduced to zero. It's kind of weird. This modded card, it's okay. a bit of a weird design. It's kind of just a, a card that absorbs attacks. It's, it's weird. It's weird. All right, then. Anyway, we'll get this garbage bullfrog on the field. And the elk's going to attack the burrowing trap. And the elk becomes a pelt. There we go. And much like you, I also do not much care for um, having a lot of pack rats in my inventory. So I'm going to yank out a tooth just so I have an empty slot. So that way, when I do come across the items, I'll get something and not a pack rat card. Yeah, I should, I should use the tooth more off, the, the pliers more often. Just, just to make sure I have an empty slot. That's all I really want. And maybe some people would disagree with that. Maybe some people say, oh no, the pack rat's amazing. But, eh, I'm kind of tired of them sometimes. I, yeah, I get it. Anyway, do I want a random card? Or uh, we never saw what the pickaxe thing was. Yes, and I am actually going to go to the pickaxe because there's a good chance I'll get something good here. I don't know what this is. Oh, I, you know... I like me a gamble. Pick a boulder! I think I may have seen this when you were streaming this game online. Ah, uh, possibly. And I completely forgot about it. Yeah, so I got to choose a random area where to strike, doesn't matter. And I get, come on, bug card! Yeah, a buffed bug card. It's not great, actually. This is a, not a great bug card. It's a worker ant that pushes other cards out of the way. It's probably Yay. one of the worst sigils you could have. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Maybe I'll put it in a fire sometime. So, double attack on the bullfrog or bullfrog... You know what? I'll put double attack on the bull... Oh, wait, actually. Let's actually put the bullfrog's blocking flying ability on the burrowing trap. Oh, so now the burrowing trap goes, yeah, and jumps yeah, up. Yeah, grabs birds out of the air. See, now it seems slightly more effective. Yeah. Now you've got a Bouncing Betty. <laughs> a Bouncing Betty, eh? Yeah, it's a type of landmine. Oh, okay. They're, they're landmines that jump. I see. So you, you got... Have a bouncing Betty? 
I may have heard of it, but I didn't know much about it. No, I, I think it was a German landmine in World War II. I could get the burrowing trap out, but I think I'm just going to hold off until I get my dire wolf out. I remember reading about the bouncing Betty and being like, how does the landmine... Because the way, the way that works is once it's tripped, it looks like a big soup can mm -hmm. with like a little three-prong thingy sticking out of the top of it. Very technical, yes. And the little three-prong thingy is the fuse that you can like tie a string off to one of the prongs so that when someone... Put, when someone hits the string, it pulls the three-prong thing over to one side, which then causes it to go off. Whatever. It doesn't like it, matter. Yeah. Once it goes off, it jumps up about, like, I think, like, three meters into the air and then detonates, sending a cloud of shrapnel down, in, like, in 360 degrees. That's a lot of shrapnel. It's a lot of shrapnel. I was like, how does the landmine know when it's the right distance up? So I was... I was thinking about it, and I was like, if I was designing one, how would I do this? So, like, what is there, like, a weird, like, barometric sensor? Does it have, like, does it spin as it goes in the air? Is there and an IR sensor, perhaps? Well, because it was made in World War II. So I was like, oh, well, maybe it, maybe it like, spins, and once it, ro once it makes, like, fu one full rotation, that sets it off. Or maybe it's, like, this other thing. So eventually I was like, I have no idea how I would have made this work. So I looked it up online. The way it knows it's the right distance in the air is it literally has a wire on the inside of it that's like three meters long. Okay. And when the wire goes taut, then it sets the landmine off. Well, I guess that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's, it's just like, oh, man, <laughs> why, did I, why did I think so hard about this? Overcomplicated things a little bit. Yep. Anyway, so there's this fish card that the game gives you with the mods. This is a yeah. modded card, and it just looks like a pretty garbage card. Yeah. It's like a squirrel. It doesn't cost anything, but it also goes underwater, so it can't block attack. It just seems like a pretty garbage card. Uh-huh. But it's got a secret. Yes, the fish is now much more powerful. And we'll see what the fish does in battle, provided I survive. Which I should. We're on the first map still. Shouldn't be that bad. You should get the fish quickly. Hey, there he is. All right. I will play the fish immediately. Raven egg over there. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm not worried about it. Goes underwater. Oh! And it has become the lesser white now. Does he turn into a great white? He might. He might just do that thing you say. Block that bird's attack. Underwater. And... Damn. <laughs> the greater white. Take out that mole! Oh yeah, this is now a really powerful card. So that was a fun little secret I was able to find out after a few hours of playing this yeah. modded version of the game. So, like, you can't do anything with a fish until you put the... Evolve sigil on it, yes. Huh. Four damage. And goodbye. So we're gonna do eight points of damage. Four, two, two. There we go. Seven teeth in case I come across the trapper, get some pelts if I want to. <laughs> All right. What else are we gonna get for the deck? Pelts, pelts. We got pelts. <laughs> Give me some pelts and we got pelts. Could go for the grizzly, could go for the whale. Ooh. Could go for the whale. It's kind of cool. Let's show them off a little bit. This is not bad. The Brood Parasite Sigil. Mm. It's really only good when combined with like bird cards, flying cards. I don't have yeah. any of those. I'm, I'm seeing the whale reminded me that, did you know that there is an upward maximum limit of how loud something can be in air? Really? I and don't know what the decibel limit is, but there is a maximum limit to how loud something can be. And then sound just can't travel fast enough. Yeah. Can't travel through itself enough to get to you. Ah, uh, see, I'm glad However, I got... whoa, yeah. what the? <laughs> Continue. However, that is increased underwater. Oh, okay. So it can be even things can be louder underwater than things they can, can be, be in even the air. louder underwater to the point that the it probably starts cooking the water because it's it's so much noise. There's been multiple instances of people finding uh, like divers basically coming face to face with a sperm whale. <laughs> and uh, this one diver was talking about how he came he came like right up to a sperm whale and he reached out and like touched its head mm -hmm. and the sperm whales are aware of what humans are and they know not to click too loudly at humans mm -hmm. but he put his hand on the sperm whales like like and it's melon which is the <laughs> technical name for space the, the, for the top of its head <laughs> he put his hand on its melon and it clicked at him and the whole right side of his body went numb <laughs> for like 20 minutes. Damn, I'd be scared about that. Yeah. They can they can literally click so loudly at you that it can cook you alive. Jeez. All right. Submarines can do basically the same thing. 
Like, the sonar in submarines is so powerful, it can base it will just cook you if they huh. run it at full power. I never really thought that sound would be able to have that much power, but I guess it makes sense if you think about it. I mean, it's, 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 you're just, you're just vibrating it, water. It's a lot of energy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the new item here you haven't seen before, the wise clock. Rotates all cards on the board, one space, clockwise. Oh, okay. One of the things I was able to unlock, you know how you were trying to unlock those painting combinations by having the cards? Oh, yeah, is that one of the things that's in there? That's one of the things that's in Casey's mod, yes. All right, let's go to this boss, the trapper. We'll, 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 oh, I, I don't have very many cards to work with, though. Yeah, you might be in trouble. Okay, I was gonna try and, uh, you know, get some pelts from this guy, but I think maybe just getting my strongest cards in the field might be the best idea. We're using the wise clock. Change places! That didn't help the way I thought it was. Okay, we'll block the, st the strange frog's trap. The bullfrog is still going to attack, though. Unless I hook it, which I will. It's kind of a shame to use two items in the first battle, but eh, whatever. Playing fast and loose. You become a leaping trap. I get a pelt from that for some reason. Leaping oh. trap, leaping trap. And again, I'm getting low on cards here. A little concerning. I have three pelts. All right, that should be enough to work with, I think. Give me this one, this one, and this one. Strange choices, up yours. All right, we'll get uh, the fox and the porcupine out. All right, we're good. I don't know what I was worried about. Six points of damage. You've played enough of this. <laughs> yeah, but I still make misplays, and I still uh, get unlucky from time to time, so... The fact that I had to use two items there was a bit unfortunate, but we'll survive. Oh no! Make myself useful! What do I want to paint? I can paint things! Make me paint! I want to paint! Honestly, the fish is my strongest card. As long as you keep the evolve ability on it, you're good to go. Keep the evolve ability on it, though. D do it! Okay. Ah, okay. I just had to look- I had to look it up. The loudest sound possible in- in air is 194 decibels. That is the- that is the- the- absolute loudest sound that you could make in air. Okay, now we know. Which I, I'm pretty sure is about how loud the uh, the eruption of Krakatoa was. Krakatoa, oh yes. You know that really big eruption that inspired the, the painting, The Scream? I wasn't there for it, but I am aware it exists, yes. Hmm. Man, that would have been interesting to see. To see the eruption of Krakatoa? Maybe not see it, just to be able to hear it. And also to be able to see the the uh, the the sky turn red for months on end. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think my shark team here is gonna be able to start cleaning this guy up pretty quickly. Shark team, woo! -hoo. Oh no, my squirrel! Oh no, I took a point of damage. Oh no, ah, oh no! Two sharks. Oh, two sharks. And what? we're done. Oh, was that like his leg? Yeah, the mantis leg had instead of having a tail. Yeah, if if that a bug, a if a bug has the gecko tail ability, it leaves a mantis leg behind. Ah. Uh, Fun little uh, Easter eggs like that are all over the place in this game. I know some insects will actually do that, like rip off one of their legs to escape. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder, do you think they just like grow it back the next time they molt? I, do you think like the next time they molt, it just grows a new one? I don't know if there are many bugs that can regenerate like that. I can't say. I don't know enough. Well, because they get a whole new exoskeleton every time they molt. Right, but they need to grow the exoskeleton from the body, so I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. I'm Ooh. You've got some ants coming on the line. That sucks for me. It's like I've seen some crabs do that, where they, like, rip off one of their own claws to run away. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's Star Wolf time. Ooh, it's Star Wolf time. Two points ooh, of damage. it's Star Wolf time. Yeah. Hey, baby, it's Star Wolf time. No, I just gotta clean up and draw a card and edit. Send it! All right, you're, play, you're playing the game faster than I can even tell what I, what I should do. Yeah, I can just rush do it. All right. I'm trying to think about what I would do in these specific scenarios, but you're playing you're playing faster than I can think about it. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of time under this game's uh, a lot of time with this game under my belt. I feel like this is this would be like me, like you watching me play Bloodborne. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Anyway, I didn't want to go to the mycologist. I like my sharks the way they are, so I'm gonna avoid going that way. I'm gonna get it, this trial and try and get a totem. Trial of blood begins. One. Zero, two. Oh, oh, I missed it by one. Lame. All right, give me a totem. Uh, leaping or stinky? Yeah, I'll go for stinky deer. Stinky deer. Stinky deer, my deer stank. Oh, man, that deer stank. Ooh, we got some sacrificial altars coming up, too. That's pretty nice. Uh, go fish tag team, go. 
I'll take a point of damage. It's really lucky that you're getting the fish, like, right at the start. I am, yeah. I'm gonna try and keep my deck as thin as I can. Burning cards I don't need just because I want to draw the fish as soon as I can. All right, I'm gonna take a point of damage from the adder, but, uh... Oh, yeah. Wolverine! He's got a Wolverine coming down, but I can only do one point of damage. My unicorn will kill it. I get a bee! I attacked his beehive and I get the bee! Ha ha ha! Why do you get the bee? Because that's just a quirk of the game. You attack his beehive and I get a bee. It's a quirk. I don't know exactly the reason why. That's weird. But... I was surprised when it happened to me too, but I'm not going to complain. Freebie! And I kill his snake. And we're done here. Trial again. All right. Again, wisdom's pretty easy to pass. Bones, blood, or health. All right. Again, a lot of cards with blood. Was unlucky last time. Eh, we'll try and go for health this time. I got the insta win with the whale if I get the whale. I don't know if you're gonna get Five, six, three, three, we pass. Oh, okay, never mind. Works for me. All right, axolotl heals and blocks a point. Well, it kind of reduces incoming damage. Pretty strong, pretty strong axolotl. Cuckoo! Oh, ooh. I, a lot of perks. I like it. You play the cuckoo, it plays an opposing broken egg in the opposing slot, and then you sacrifice the cuckoo. And then these 1-1 one, one stats get added to the card you sacrificed it for. Pretty strong. I like it. And the young bear. Eh. Eh. It's not got also, great he eggs. It, you, it places Why it, does the bear leave? Bears don't lay eggs. See, the thing is, the bear places an egg, but because it doesn't have flying, it then attacks the egg. So very counterproductive. Not going to go for that. I'll grab the cuckoo. Actually, have you ever seen a bear egg? I've never seen a bear give birth, so who's to say bears don't lay eggs? They might lay eggs. Look that up. Somebody look that up. I feel like bears lay eggs. All right, guys, we bears lay eggs. It's a verifiable fact, I'm sorry to say. If I had spikes, I could put that on the whale. But I don't have you spikes. You don't have spikes. Mm. You put flying on the whale. Double attack. It's a flying whale. It'd be a whale lord. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and get rid of these bad cards. So I would say pronghorn is definitely bad, but bifurcated is good. So we're going to put that on... He could be bifurcated that hits twice. I think that'll work, yeah. So, so that means it'll attack left, straight, straight, right. It'll attack four times. Oh my god. Theoretically, sometimes those multi-strike abilities don't work properly. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work the way you think it's going to. So, unicorn attacks friends. Okay, we gotta get rid of flying. And put that on... Put it on the unicorn, so now it's a pegacorn. <laughs> yeah, we got a pegasus. No, it's a pegacorn. Pegacorn. I guess that works. It's pegacorn. The unit... Unisys? Uni... uni there's a name there's a name for a flying unicorn. What is a flying unicorn? What is a called? flying unicorn? It's called a Pegasus. It's called a Pegasus sack. You can look it up if you want, but I'm right. I'm pretty sure Pegacorn isn't its name. I've never heard of a Pegacorn. A winged unicorn, Seraptor, flying unicorn, Pegacorn, or Unisys is a fictional ungulate. Mm-hmm. So or, or it's just called a winged unicorn. Mm-hmm. It's called a Pegasus. How high was the first guy that came up with a Pegasus? <laughs> like, how high was that dude? He probably had a great time. Hey, man. Like, what if that horse had wings? I don't... Oh, I forgot to draw a card. That Okay, he's going to draw my... Whatever. Doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter. I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> man, what if... Yeah, but like, what if... What if that kid... No, he moved, so he's not going to grab it now. And then he moved back, so he's going to grab it now. Uh, oh, nope. wh what is he... Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little weird here. Because the trap moved around, he's he stopped trying to grab it. He is as confused as I am. Doesn't matter, I'm going to attack him for four points of damage. He's, he's looking at you like, yeah, but what if... Those cards are all over the place. I'm just going to grab your shark. What if that great white had wings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get rid of the great white. I don't want him to attack that bait bucket. Here's the cuckoo. Uh-huh. Place the unicorn right there. And then the stats got added to the unicorn. Now the unicorn attacks for three. Mm. And now the fish. Yes, yeah, so the fish will go there and we'll attack for four points next turn. Yeah, bait bucket. Not going to matter. Not going to matter. We're done here. Are we done here? Four points. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. Give me those teeth. I'll knock them out of your ugly face. Give me teeth. Give me teeth. Ooh, baby. Give me teeth. Ooh, undead snake. It's hard to pass up the undead snake. He's so fun. Is it? If you don't think the undead snake is great, watch me use him to great effect, and you'll think. Okay, all right, I will. I want to see. All right, back to the woodlands. Where do I want to go? Let's see. Are these cards I got anything awful? Whale's kind of big and problematic. I can't put anything good on him yet. 
He has prob- he, he's not problematic, he has problematic beliefs. <laughs> that whale's like, I'm not a racist, but... but... Yeah, problematic whale's gotta go in there. Bones. Have you seen what those porpoises are doing? No, oh, it's too far, man, it's too far. Alright, give me a good card, good card. Beehive is on fire. Not great. Those dolphins are just chewing on blowfish to get high. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that with a seven-foot whale pole. Whale, whale pole. Whale pole! Whale pole! I'm screaming. I'm sorry, are you waiting for a response? <laughs> <laughs> and the dire wolf! Hey, you know, three blood costs is mitigated because it summons itself. Yes, I'll take it. With racist demeanor. Stop! Man, I hate porpoises. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm just saying they should go to their own ocean. I oh! Um, okay, I will play the squirrel right here, and then the wolf will play itself. So, you're gonna attack my squirrel. Uh-huh. Dire wolf, back on the board. Wait, what? How did that happen? Because the dire wolf has the corpse eater sigil. A creature- Oh my god, so you don't- you don't even need- <laughs> I don't need three blood to you play- You don't even need three blood. You just put a squirrel down, and then the next turn he goes- If anything on my board dies and the dire wolf is in my hand, Direwolf comes to my aid. One other question. Yes. Why is there a butt inside that mouth? <laughs> it's not a... It, well, you know how all the kids today are eating ass? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the direwolf's an ass eater. I got it. Yeah, don't don't kink shame, man. <laughs> when he kills a card, he gets stronger. There we go. And he'll have plenty of opportunities. Well, you motherfuckers out here eating ass all the time. Won't eat a damn vegetable. <laughs> Oh man, that dire wolf is just ripping through the cards. Ripping through the cards like he's ripping through ass. Yeah, he's ripping through ass. Yes, I got that. <laughs> Dude, this dire wolf has an attack of five now. This is insane. Thank you. You know, I could go to the uh, trapper and get some pelts, but I got so many cards on my deck and I'm trying to keep it tight. So, so many cards, he says. I had two rows when I got to here last yeah, time. Yeah, I, I don't want that many cards, though. I didn't either. <laughs> That's why I'm always trying to pair them down. Another dire a, wolf! What is a lam lamer lemon? Oh, I'm sorry, I should probably take some time and show you these cards. Yeah, oh, it's fine. The Lamurgier actually has an attack power equal to half of the amount of bones you have. So the more bones you have, the stronger he becomes. Oh, okay. Well, he would have been handy for me last time. Yeah! He's great for bone decks, but not for me because I don't have a bone deck. That's a lot of teeth. It's spilling out onto my unicorn. Speaking of teeth... Yes, you have an anecdote about your teeth recently? You know I still have my wisdom teeth? Isn't it about time you grew up and got rid of those? Uh, no, I mean, I, I literally have them in a bag on the shelf. Oh, you had them removed. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, you're missing out on all that money from the Tooth Fairy. Oh, she stopped, she stopped answering my calls a long time ago. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have hit on her then. Ooh, jellyfish. Oh, I could get the jellyfish. It goes underwater, and then it does the acidic trail ability, which is pretty cool. Ooh. Or the insta-kill ability on something like... The unicorn... Oh, mm, unicorn's already got that ability. I can't yeah. really do any, um... I want something to put on the direwolf, or something the direwolf can be put on. So, something good like the raven. Oh, the corpse maggot? Put corpse maggot on the direwolf. Yeah, I'll go for that. Then you'll have two direwolves that go pop and yeah, pop that out. Pop themselves out. Oh, here we go. Time for the my color. You, you ready to create a monstrosity? Time for monster horror. Cram these wolves together, baby! Cram these wolves together! Oh, look out, boy. Oh my god, that's so many abilities. We have a dire wolf that has 10 health, an attack of 4. It attacks 4 times, what? left, straight, straight, oh. right. And every time it kills something, it gets stronger, and it plays itself. Oh and, my god. And it moves. And now you have, well, you'll have another dire wolf in a minute here that will also have that ability on it. Yes. Well, not that ability, but... It, it'll have that ability, unless I, put, unless I put maybe, like, something else on it, too. It's an option. There you go, this wolf summons itself too. Man, I really want to get some strong wolf heads here, please. Please, wolf. Come please, on. Wolf, 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 a bird. wolf, wolf, mm. fuck. Well, you could make it so that everything, all your deer instantly play themselves. The unicorn plays itself, yep. Uh, yeah, the unicorn's the only one you have, isn't it? It is right now. So I'm actually gonna grab this bird head. So if I come across the woodcarver again, maybe there's a better chance that she'll give me the wolf head that I want. Yeah, maybe. Until then, keep on giving me those smelly unicorns. Smelly unicorn. Smelly, smelly unicorn. Ooh. So, yeah, you got a wolf coming down, do ya? That's a problem. 
I'll uh, stall you out with the cuckoo, I think. Yes. And then, um, we'll just do a point of damage. Hey, point of damage, fine. I do have enough bone tokens to use the undead snake to insta-kill the pack mule. Yeet! My, my mule! mule! Curse you! Yeet! Joke's on you, it's my mule now. <laughs> I have a mule now. How did you get the mule? Because <laughs> I, I used the, uh... Oh, the undead serpent the undead, takes the... Yeah, okay. undead serpent is a soul stealer! So the pack mule and the cuckoo... I mean, they got so many wolves coming. Oh, man. That's so a lot many. of wolves. I need to start doing some damage to him right the he's heck now. A, he's got a lot of wolves. You uh, might, I could use my dire wolf. Dire wolf would be good. I need to use the dire wolf. I'm thinking, actually, if I can do three points of damage right now... And I can. Yes. Unicorn. It's unicorn time, I think. So we'll do this. Three points of damage. And there we go. First phase done. Pack Mule gets destroyed. And then... And it breaks the game. Oh. So we have just figured out that this mod soft blocks the game if he attacks your mule. Yep. Ah. All right, we'll just try that again. Okay, so don't steal his mule. Don't steal the mule. Got he it. He gets got real it. mad if you steal his mule. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw! Towards the prospector. Yeet! -ha! Stop saying yeet. Yeet! <laughs> now, I'm wondering, the unicorn flies. Uh-huh. If the wolf attacks the squirrel, and the unicorn, being powered by friendship, counterattacks, is it going to actually kill the wolf? Or is it is it just gonna do two flying damage over the wolf? I guess we'll see. It kills the wolf! Now it we know. It kills the wolf. This kills the crab. Hmm. And unfortunately, I have reached the point where I have finished him off. Hooray, the first candle goes out. But he's going to hit all my cards. Ouch. Oh, it sucks so hard. There's clout in them there cards. Clout? Yeah, internet clout. He's doing it for the TikTok clout. Okay. So that people think he's cool on TikTok. Is he, though? No. Oh, there we go. Yeah. He's going to attack that gold nugget and not do anything else. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the wolf is going to attack my trap. There we go. Um, I'll try and break the mule open. And then the, the bloodhound will attack the trap and die. Then the wolf will do some damage to me. Ah, here we go. Got the mule broken open. There you oh. go. Stinky fawn. Yeah. Rattler. Yeah. This is, there we go. My mule. And her pack. And a pelt for me. Ooh. It's fine. It's good. We're working here. We're working. We're making it work. Uh, I, I'll get Elk Fawn out. Can you can you do do me a favor real quick? What's that? Can you sort your bones, please? <laughs> You're not a fan of this pile of bones here. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Place the pel here and get the rattle out. You're just so OCD about this. This has got to be fixed. Right, take out the bloodhound. Take out. Okay. So his wave is, uh, here comes a near, new wave. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh boy. Ow, 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 ow. That plays out exactly like I wanted. Yup, you attack my pelt. My elk fawn grows up. Uh-huh. Oh uh, my, there is my good dire wolf. All right, so we're gonna do- uh, you go, Oh, break open the squirrel. Do I want to? Cause you could play the squirrel and then the dire wolf will go and pop out. I could. That if I wanted to, that's definitely an option. I'm going to do four points of damage now, and then he is going to do two points. I don't think we need to use the squirrel, honestly. I think we're even without the squirrel. I think I can save the squirrel. Bonk, bonk, bonk. That's fine. And now I can place this squirrel out and get it done manually without having to dip into my reserves. Hooray! Mm. Dire wolves out on the field, boys! Dire wolves out on the field, boys! Dire wolves out on the field! Dire wolves out on the field, boys! I'm ripping those teeth out of your head! Which should mean six teeth for me! One, two, three, four, five teeth! That's so many freaking teeth. I have so many teeth, and you know, I don't even usually spend them. At this late in the game, why even bother? Yeah, We're at the bother? end of the Yeah. Um, is my deck strong enough to take on this final boss, though? We'll see. This, this final boss, this modded final boss. Yeah. Scissors don't affect any of his cards. Kind of mm. annoying as hell. So either Pack Rat or Amalgam. I guess I'll go for Pack Rat. That seems fine. All right. So 
Here we go. Another map. All right. It's TV static. <laughs> yeah, so... Don't you need a totem? I could try and get a wolf head totem. How many items do I have? I can't see it's so dark. I've got... Okay, I've got my squirrel and the hourglass. It's still enough. So I don't think I'll go for the items. Mm -hmm. I can't really do anything over here except maybe... Well, I can place the pack rat on the undead snake. Or do I really want to try and go for a wolf head? We'll try and get a good... I can't even see it's so dark in this area. It's very dark. Snake. snake. I got snake. All right. Give me the deer. Stinky deer. Stinky deer it is. All right. I hope we've got enough because this final boss is a real Let's problem. Let's see what he is. All right. He just blows out both of your candles. <laughs> what a dick. You just lose. Ready to confess your sins? No. Ooh, what is this music? Come forth and be saved by his light! What the, the hell is that? So he's got some kind of TV card over here that can be insta-killed. Uh-huh. And this card, I'm not sure what it is, but it blocks any attacks coming in. Like, it jumps in front of all your cards. I think it blocks flying, and also it, it doesn't upset being attacked. Like, it'll block all your attacks and it won't let you attack. I, so we need to get rid of this thing first. Get rid of that thing. Um, oh, the TV is the thing that yeah, it's going to... It's the secret, yes. So I need to get the wolf out. I would like to get it out instantly, but I think I have to get it out by regular blood cost. So I think I'll just wait a turn. I'll take the two damage from this thing. Sucks. Squirrel, squirrel, smoke. All right, we'll start attacking that thing. And this guy's gonna get another two attack in on me. I don't like it, but not much I can do about it. Ouch. All right, we'll put the ant right here. I'm trying to follow what's happening right now. It's very <laughs> difficult. I'm going very fast, yes. Yeah, so. The wolf is going to attack the TV twice. Uh -huh. It'll do four points of damage, and we'll destroy the TV. TV won't be a problem anymore. Uh, the ant is going to attack here. It's going to move, uh, but then the ant's going to... Uh. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. I feel like I know what's going to happen. I'm going to lose. You forego his teachings! Disgusting! And then it transforms. Okay, so now it becomes a different card. It can be attacked. Why did it turn into Zero Two from Kirby 64? <laughs> yeah, it's a new kind of card. Guardian, it's got Omni Strike, so it attacks all the cards in the field until it's gone. Hmm. Why is there like a pastor talking? <laughs> Why indeed? All right, we're gonna get out the pack rat. What do we have to work with? I can't see over here. Squirrel in a bottle, give me that. Let me just hold on to it. Possum in a bottle I got now, good. Hold on to that. And the hourglass, skip a turn, it's fine. We'll attack, you'll attack back, there we go. All right, he so- He still has three health. He does. No, he's got, there we go. We got oh, because you haven't beaten him yet. So we damaged this thing with the pack rat. It's got hmm. two health, we got two attack. We're gonna kill it this turn. We're gonna kill it this turn, and then it's gonna be the first wave done. Ah, poor ignorant heretic. You have doomed us all, I can hear their arrival at this moment. Oh. Behold, the apocalypse is imminent. Here's where it gets real. And the belly of the earth quivered, and so came forth famine, bringer of strife and ruin. Are you gonna fight the four horsemen of the apocalypse? Pestilence, bringer of plagues, desecrator of the ill. War atop his steed strode with wild abandon. And death on his pale horse, ending of endings. Bringer of salvation and damnation, reaper of the deceased. <sighs> so this sucks. So okay, here, famine here uh, attacks one, two, three, and has five health. It's okay. It's not that bad. Um, pestilence here blocks the first attack on it. Is stinky, so lowers the dire wolf's attack. This thing, um, I believe that's. Because you've got... War, it's war, yeah, it's war. And that's death right there. So war, whenever war gets played, it instantly does a whole bunch of damage to any of these cards. Okay. And whenever it dies, it basically destroys the opposing card. And death. Anything it touches dies, and anything that touches it dies. Okay, then. Pro problematic cards here. So we're going to... Oh, he hasn't played the other ones yet. He's going to play them one at a time. I have to defeat them one at a time. Oh my god. So 
we're going to nullify his attack with the stinky unicorn. No, okay, yeah, it blocks flying and unicorn is flying, so this works actually. So we're gonna do two points of damage to him. Uh-huh. And he's gonna have zero attack, so he can't do anything. And we'll do a bunch of damage to him. You fool! You think you can skip this battle? Face your sins, you coward! Yeah, so, even if I tip the scale all the way, it doesn't matter until I've destroyed all of the sins. Oh my god. Yeah. So, we're gonna get the possum out right here. We're gonna double attack this guy and do a point of damage, essentially. He's going to attack the dire wolf back. Unicorn attacks you. Alright, and you blow up my pack rat. And the unicorn attacks you. A lot of things just kind of... Things just flying all over the place. But this actually works out well, I'd say. The dire wolf is going to attack for four points of damage and destroy this thing. It'll blow up the possum. And the possum will be released. Yay! Alright. Good. It's unfortunate. But the dire wolf is going to do an attack of five. So it's basically going to insta-kill death. At the cost of its own life. I'm going to lose my best card. But it can't be helped. And there they go. They're both gone now. And here comes this card. We'll do some di flying damage to it. It can't do anything still. The unicorn is too stinky. And here's Pestilence. It's stinky. It's going to nullify some of the dire wolf's attack and then probably kill it. Oh, so every one of his turns, he changes which card is out. Yeah, he's swapping his cards Until out. Until you kill all of them. Yep. So I've killed War and I've killed Death. But now I've got to deal with Pestilence. I'll be able to finish off Pestilence this turn and... Oh, yeah, that's Famine, actually. I'll be able to famine finish off Famine this turn. Yeah. And then Dire Wolf will strike at Pestilence, but Pestilence is going to kill the Dire Wolf, I feel. I'm out, I'm out of cards now. <laughs> All right, we got... Oh, okay, we got well, him. You would kill, you would kill the, uh, Pestilence earlier. I forgot I'd already killed off Pestilence. All right, good. So third wave. All right, what do we got? The Mother of Harlots! So arrives the Mother of Harlots, as forewarmed as preceded by the untimely deaths of her harbingers. Lovely! A hundred health! Hell Strike! This card only attacks the two slots in the middle, but if there's no slots in the middle, I'm gonna take damage. Okay. So if I don't have cards in the middle, I'm gonna I'm gonna start losing. So I gotta at least have these two cards, these two slots filled. Yeah. And then every other turn. A random stalactite is going to kill one of my cards. Essentially. It'll take five damage. However, if the stalactite kills it, the stalactite goes boop and just right. goes there. What's the other one do? Uh, this is sturdy, so you can't insta-kill it. And this block's flying. Boy, howdy. I mean, I could try to use... Would the burrowing trap work on this card? There's certainly no way. No. There's... I mean, try it. There's no way I... I'm willing to try it. I'm... I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm willing to try it. So go ahead and attack the Burrowing Trap. All right, we'll damage you. Uh, what are you gonna put in there? I guess you could put the Undead Snake in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't insta-kill him though because he's got the sturdy ability. And then you'll have to put the fish in one of the other external ones so that it actually can turn into a great white. Yeah. If I place him in the center slot, he's gonna attack over and start He'll doing damage die, to me. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. This will work. We're going to do two points of damage to you, and then you'll attack my cards, and my unicorn will start attacking you back. Hopefully. You're probably going to kill something with a stalactite this turn, though. You attacked my bur- No way! Oh my god! No way! The burrowing trap actually killed it. <laughs> you killed the mother of harlots by going, <laughs> clamp, numb. <laughs> A bear trap. As, as <laughs> the bear trap killed the horse. As it turns out, the apocalypse could be diverted by just simply throwing a bear trap in front of him. There we go. This is going to be the first time I've beaten this thing, like, the proper way, essentially. Oh, my God. So, With the bear trap. Yeah. The other times, I've used the ink, the uh, the bleach, to get rid of all of its sigils and then use the insta-kill ability on it. Ah, uh, okay. The, that's, like, the only way I've been able to kill the Mother of Harlots. So, that's, I just found a second way to kill the Mother of Harlots. There you go. All right. I still have to finish him off. It's all a matter of luck and skill. There we go. So, you really want the story to end this way, don't you? Right then. The end. Hey. <laughs> That's it. That the was end. it. The harlot does have some tricks you can kind of cheese it. Yeah. The real battle is with those four plagues. Those four harbingers. Good Lord. That is, that is something. 
So that is a modded boss for this game. One of more than one. There's more. There's multiple modded bosses for this game that you can play with. But uh, that was pretty cool, I thought. All right, then. Well, that was something. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that the bear trap was just able to go. Yeah, I honestly didn't think it would work. I didn't think it would. But, you know, if nothing else, at least he played by the rules. Yeah. For that one point. For that one point, yes. For that one point. Not only did I kill the mother of our harlots, it turned into a wolf pelt that went into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Victory is mine!